after uh, the General Convention 2003, we had interesting conversations. <laughs> we had a few of them here in the diocese. And I remember sort of being a little bit scratched up and, and um, probably a little bit like Jacob. And one of the clergy one day came up and gave me a little one of those little uh, um, refrigerator things with a magnet on it. And it had a picture of John Wayne. Why do you need a picture of John Wayne of all people? And on it, it had, I guess, what was a quote from the dude that says, Courage is being scared to death and saddened off anyway. Now, can I get a witness? <laughs> I want to submit that we are in the midst of a cultural, political, and social context in which it is going to take courage to be a witness, a disciple, and a follower of Jesus of Nazareth. We are in a time, I'm just going to put it on out there, when the label Christian is not a particularly good label. We are in a time when more and more people are disaffected from religious tradition, and sometimes for good reason. Diane Butler Bass and her book, which is about to come out, and I think it's going to be worth reading, um, basically says we are at a time where one in ten people in the United States are ex Catholics. It is not an accident. I don't know if y'all have a uh, commercial about a Roman Catholic church. Come about come home. It ain't an accident. They looked at the numbers. It's not going to work. <laughs> but but we, we are in a context when being a follower of Jesus, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the cultural Christ, I'm talking about Jesus of Nazareth, the one who loved without abandon and without restriction, the one who touched lepers, the one who set the captives free. We are in a time when it's going to take courage to follow that Jesus beyond the doors of our church into that world to witness to his love. 